Yeah, my people, what go on? Big up on yourself in here. Don't know where they are checking with another one. One I deal with. Hope everybody good, you know. Hope everybody up. Hope everybody doing fine. Hope everybody doing okay. You see? Make sure you subscribe to the channel, you know. Don't go around the thing, you know. Click the notification bell and all of the good stuff. Don't know. Keeping updated with the whole thing. With the whole movement and so forth. Big up to all of who they are support the thing. We have a couple things to talk about, people. We see where popcorn. You don't know. We hear say Iman Valiant have a little wranglings in the street. We are going to look forward and put forward what we hear so far, my people. You see what I say? Yeah, man. You see it. We hear so like a and them thing they go on and like uh, all years as and them thing they go on we know no for sure but we are going to tell you know what we hear so far so outside of that people we also see uh state show protege state show and it had popcorn and protege and staging closing and it looked like the police them rush to lock up the set get protege dark and them thing that we are showing you what go on this so as well we also see where mr vegas and also yeah we see where mr vegas we are in and his whole political preference and you know show the people him so right now in a this political climate he is supporting the JLP party as so, you may say we also see where the entertainer did all some dub play for Prime Minister Andrew Wallace and so forth stating clearly that Mark Golding cannot run the PNP much less for even run the country so a bag of things are going there so people we also have some big wranglings are going as it relates to Amari and also RT Boss and also Queen Queenie. Queenie is saying Amari, you know, sleep with RT Boss and Amari is accusing Queenie of sleeping with RT Boss as well. So we are going to look into it, judge the situation and see how I tell the truth. We also have Mr. G people, aka Goofy, and him clap back wicked at Pampute. Pampute come out strong, strong and said, Goofy bad minor for a million views and try to sabotage our thing and so forth. And you don't know we have to just bring forth the reasoning as it relates to what Goofy have to say in response to what Pampute say first thing first. As it people so stay tuned for all of that. We see where even my young man are trying to fight him mother over two dumpling people. Jaja no, it not look good. But anyways, I want bag of things. Do the right thing, subscribe to the channel and also click the notification bell. Let's get into it, my people. May I do that vlog, your people? We get to understand, say. In the street, some news are rotate that there is a fight to go on between Popcorn and Valiant people. This is kind of unconfirmed. We don't get no clear clarity as to what go on. As it relates to like video evidence and them things they present to the one them. But we are here to say Popcorn or Popcorn crew give Valiant a hard ears as you see when I say a hard box, a hard gladiator as we Jamaican would have call it. You see people. No, these are unconfirmed. News, we're not sure if nothing goes, so these are allegations, said speed, but a lot of people in the street have said so. Me personally, I say if it not goes, so it near goes, so you see it? Yes, but we, as soon as we get the full thing in full, we will bring it back and tell you exactly how we go on, you see it? But for now, they must say, you know, popcorn or popcorn gang box down valiant, you see it? And you don't know. Fun and joke aside, we don't really like support them type of energy there because at the end of the day, two entertainers. And the man them out there for make money, said we, said we, you see it. So at the end of the day, we just wish the man them to keep the peace. If them are go deal with something, deal with it in our music, you see, the street thing, not really cut it because nobody no want to see Valiant a jail and nobody no want to see Popcorn a jail at this moment, especially in fan base. So, so what I mean, I say, no man no want to no say, yo, the artists them out here uh, make millions to them friends and them family and them lifestyle and then you have to depend on the internet a campaign about free this and free that and all sort of madness. I see it so, as we say, but outside of that, we keep on updated as it relates to that. And as it relates to Popcorn for the same subject, people, boy, I mean, I know. In the election season and the reggae month season, people, we see where Protege a keep a little party. Uh, not a little party, big old concert, people, with much in artists and something. And me see the end of the night at 12 o'clock in the night, on a Saturday night. And I say, yo, them things they really want to fix up, you know, people. Because me can't believe say, on a Saturday night, party are ending at 12 o'clock at midnight in a Jamaica. And me at about 12 o'clock sharp. Because as the clock touch 12, the police them come lock it off. I don't know if I throw popcorn upon the stage or our people. Get even protege dark. I see protege all fling with the mic a ground people. At the first, me ever see protege in a that type of, you know, demeanor. Because I don't know protege are them chill type of guy there. You see what I say, people? So, as me say, you know, in terms of like the entertainment thing, you need to whole heap of work. Pan. We see them make an attempt for 
give jam over jam Earl and 24 hour um entertainment zone or entertainment spot but we want a whole heap more of them things the people because in a long and short that when we see go on not really look good and we can take a look at it before we even get into the rest of topics them people so check this out and you know we see with what go on with popcorn and protege and the whole performance there and you know we see say i am not exaggerating people check this out and tell me what you think festival in a reggae music in a reggae month in a Jamaica. Let's tune. In life. see a video over the internet and Jaja know you know when me look on it me have to just shake me and me can't believe so this lady look like she cook some food you see when me I say as a mother cook some food you don't know in a, the rural area country area outside cooking and so forth you know food probably not even that surplus like that and mama does her cook where she can afford and so forth now when I see this big old grown man look like mama give him two flower people and so poor you hear how the man are going, you know? The man of all him cutlass look like him would have chop up all the mother and them things, the people. I tell the woman to go S out, Ray, 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 she can't give big man two flowers and so forth. Take a little clip, clip, quick look at this video, people. And you can't. Yeah, 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 Very disheartening people. I'm sure you can agree to with me with that. You see it when me see it, me have to shit me. You see what I say? Yeah man, because at the end of the day, the first thing first, me I look upon and I say, but this man a big man. You see, this man is an adult, a big sound with me. I see. He's not even a little juvenile or whatever. Me now, whether I'm a juvenile or no, we not work with that type of behavior, but we are talking about the Demanding behavior like you're entitled. Me I say, yo, you look like somebody who over 80. You're not even entitled for your eat. Um, not no out of mama party. It's a little privilege you get your mommy a boss up and two dumplings. As a matter of fact, you reach a stage in a life where you should have bring in the flour. And all I cook the food for mama as well. You see what I say? So, when I look upon that people, I say, yo, really sad. You see? Yeah, man, you can see say, the little lady actually afraid of him because he's having machete and he's there kick over all the pot and go on with a bag of things, people. You see what I say? Yeah, man. And as you know, even the comment section I go hard I say, yo, you know, one condom could have prevent that, you know, a mother should have closed her leg when he's born. And one bag of things, my people. And I can't even blame the people if they go hard because at the end of the day, I don't know what kind of style that. We have some really waste man in our society, people. You see what I say? Yeah man, and that is definitely a waste man behavior, big man thing. Yes, yeah, so when I say no real youth in the street, 
Nah, put them type of attitude to their mother. If a two flower, the uh, mama can't afford, and let's say it's a jean on the street and your thing not too loud, and you don't know your kind of a rock back and go and brace around mama, and a two flower mama can't afford it. Just clutch, brother, and just consume a two flower and just, you know, hold it as a G. Yeah, yeah, go on, go on like you want to cut off the woman's head because she gave two dumplings. What kind of man are we are growing in a society nowadays? Judge and no people. Leave one of the thoughts and tell me what you think about that. But as I say, big waste man style, big woman thing. Anyways, moving on. People, so we see we are Pampute and D Mafia and also Mr. G seems to in a triangle at water. It seems as if um, a song that Pampute voice Mr. G a couple of years ago. You know, basically as you know how the whole TikTok thing work. Right now we see even like one song for Vibes Cartel a go on popular over there. Where from a long time him did do that song they say she want shut up, she no want Harry Potter. You see, me see a lot of people I react to it. So that song the way Pampute have uh, similar, you see what I say. So it look like it a pick up over on the TikTok and so forth and it a get back a rotation. However, I don't know what really go on with Mr. G and Pampute, but um, Pampute come out and say Mr. G a fight hard thing, you see what I say, bad mind move and so forth. However, I see where Mr. G have theme side of the story because I don't know how the thing going on. It's your side, my side, and the truth. You see, that's why when I do my thing out there, I don't really jump on side. I just hear what I want to say and present it to the people because. You may jump on side and jump on the wrong side and look like fool. Not that me I say Mr. G side is the wrong side or Pampute side is the wrong side. So I say me just I say we just a present what we see out there. So me see we are Pampute come out and blaze a fire upon Mr. G and we present that to the people. Now we see where Mr. G blaze back a fire and we are gonna present it to the people as well, my people. So check this out and tell me what wanna think about what Mr. G is saying. Him also mentioned a name D Mafia say he is the producer or manager or something for God's Pampute and him call um, Mr. G and a push be a badness and a threaten all Mr. G life and them thing there. And you don't know we can't support them thing there. But we could take a listen at what Mr. G is saying. Check this out. We just have a pan panogram here to just address a few issues. Yeah. I was told that Pampute was on her live last night and making a bag of talk and a whole heap of accusations pertaining to a video that she um, did with a production of mine. I produced a song for her many years ago and she videoed it. Now Pampute, you say me, Miss G. Goofy, bad mind, you, bad mind, you, Pampute, say God believe you. Say God believe you, know. Me, bad mind, you. Pampute, me not even know about your views, them, until your manager called me last night when me and me were home. And he might try to chuck a bag of badness and tell me the most things in the world. Me have to end up telling back some things. See? Him end up a threaten my life. I tell me, say, me if I watch my head. Say, him a bad man and him kill people and Ray Ray. Him name what? Um, Dan Mafia. D Mafia pan. The Mafia music on IG. See? Now, there's a wrong and there's a right way to do things. There's a wrong and there's a right way to deal with business. Pampute, if your manager did call me last night and talk to me like a civilized human being, we would have had a civilized discussion. Me here is say you make a statement say I've been collecting royalties from your song for years. Pampute, try remember, say a few months ago, you are the one that called my phone and asked me to upload your song and the juggling back onto the internet. My rhythm was not available on the internet for at least eight years. 
I took it down because me have other plans when me they go deal with with the redeem. You're wrong and you're strong, but hear this: the only reason why I'm addressing this now on the internet, Pompote, is because you're not a major corporation. You're not a millionaire. That somebody who I can take through the courts and sue and win and me know say me I go get paid. I can sue you for defamation of character. I can sue you for copyright infringements. Your manager will call me and threaten me. Pampute, me have him voice note them. Yeah. Me have him messages. Yeah. Me only sorry say, me never know who I call me and what kind of vibe it would have been or else I would have recorded the conversation. You hear that? Would have recorded the conversation. Come here, say, you're the you ever talk about me a liar, say, your manager never threat me. Me not take threats lightly. I me make sure, put it out to all of my friends them and everybody who need to know. Say, so listen, if me go a road and book me tour, Pampote and our manager, all fingers are pint over. They so. You hear me say, me not keep no secret in the music. From when I go threaten life, me I take it serious. No boy can frighten me. Me is not a little uptown kid, we are born uptown. A concrete jungle, my barn. Check my history. A Sherlock, my girl. My people, so as I tell you, you know, your side, my side, and the truth, you know, that is Mr. G's side. So when I say so, Mr. G, I say, yo, if it, if Pampute was like a bigger entity, he would have swore for defamation of character and also copyright infringement and so forth. But me still, I say, yo, you know, the bad vibe and negativity, negativity and Crabbing a barrel mentality, you know, that for cut out said. I wish them could have just fix things and just deal with them things musically, you see it? And if um, Pampute manager or whoever him is, call Mr. G and I push no form of badness energy as it relates to so take a man life and read. That is totally wrong, you see what I say, people? Yeah, man, we can't support nothing like that, you see it? And, you know, Pampute that crazy and stupid for a. Uh, Make man a speak them when they pan fear be off. You see what I say? As a parent, as a mother, as a entertainer. You see it? Yeah, man. So we can't really support that as well. You see what I say? But as I say, we hope them come to some form of amicable solution in terms of like with the song and, you know, deal with, with them business people. You see it? But yeah, man, that is what Mr. G has said. I don't know one thing still. I don't know who wanna believe. If you don't believe Pampute, if you don't believe Mr. G, or if you don't just believe, say, both of them have a point and them just need to go fix them things. I don't know. But tell me one thing. So people, we have Queen and Amari, and the internet get really dramatic in here. See what I say? Because you don't know from the other day, everybody are doing what they do normally. People here and there and so forth. But you know, the internet turn up because. Queenie decided that she can reconcile with her husband who is doing and all else start to break loose so because you don't know you know this person did link with that person and you know Queenie did seem close to RT boss in a friendship and so forth and whatever however Amari I say it was a little bit further than that you know say RT boss actually did a sleep with Queenie however Queenie is a the queen has said basically a lie Amari tell and a Amari RT boss asleep with so both of them are point fingers on each other you know both of them are style each other and so forth you see it so according to uh, we, we, uh, we have a couple of snippets of the videos them people so we are going to take a quick look on them so we are going to look on Queenie first and what Queenie have to say about Amari and RT boss and then we look on what Amari have to say about Queenie and RT Boss. So check out where Queenie has a people. I got no fucking chance, Samari. I mean, an RT fucker. Are you RT fucker with a cranky blood clot by himself? You RT fucker. Then I come tell me how oh, I do. Why were you reaching a position to tell me about when I put a spot? Yes, Maddie. The way you took that one spice and sent shunshot to blood clot. 
You don't know them the art and vomit, but you leave me alone. Are you are deep from not me? Do you have my two child and I'm a two blood clad for them from RT come back to back big blood clad is me a blood clad play game. My mouth too blood clad, trimble, trimble. Come, me did I forget to tell you anything the pinch for my bottom mama me tip neck, but not think on a blood clad. When I can't swear me. All it do to the one side, hundred blood clad time I say no business, I don't believe that. Me have blood clad too, from my heart in a dead. Remember when RT did I come and sting, RT said fuck when me did hang, when him did hang apart for the life and him crying, Queen, why you never tell the people them say me fuck you? That's how you want in your mind, RT. Younger can't fuck me in your mind. I hear one of them now. So why when um RT get upset, no, because RT why get upset? RT big up your damn drama prince, prince self. Don't fucking think you can't about RT. Um, RT don't have no control about RT want the best for me. So what the best? So RT best is better than my best? Oh no word that out. Oh, no, come out and me an RT friendship man. Can me go tell RT? My people, so that is Queenie, you know. Queenie said, I say, you know, uh, Amari, RT boss did a stab out and jam out and them things. You know what I say? However, Queenie has said whenever she go around RT boss at work, she go work, you see. However, Amari has said she not really buy into that because at the end of the day, no work can go like what Queenie has talked about, you see. She said she has go around RT boss to promote song and she Amari is asking how much months it take for promote one song people. Something did in a something. Plus she is saying that, you know, Queenie stole her friend and a try for in a competition with her. Take a listen at what Amari is saying as well, my people, and tell me who wanna think of this stronger line of argument. Both of them as a RT boss touch up the property them. So I don't know who to believe or who know I go be the judge. So tell me what you think about what Amari is saying, people. She carrying this revenge because Sika they dump her and pick me up. That is when me did do um call me. You understand the two songs then when me do for Sika. So she have this revenge. So she forgets that she's a married woman and decides that she gonna do a revenge hook. And I guess so she nestle up with RT and, 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 and destroy me and RT friendship. Me and RT go way, 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 way back in her before she ever did come out. If you ask RT about Amari, RT was saying it. That time RT said is Mona Lisa boss me. I mean, him called Mona Lisa. He said, I mean, boss him. Because when RT just come on the scene, everybody turn against him. You understand? And RT contact me. Intellectual and everything. And that the time, you know, me and Bapa run things on the internet, you know. And RT said, you know, good morning, so and so. Me always respect people who deal with me a certain way. And me go up on the internet, defend RT, and big up RT, make him name relevant and everything. So RT always feel like him owe something to me. And this whoring woman, take with my friend. Take with my friend and I brag about it. Yes. And, and fling it down upon him and do everything to him to erase me. That's what she did. That fucking or queenie. That's what you are. I tell you, both faces fucking up. Me yeah, my people, that's how Amari has said in a fear defense, say, you know, Queenie envy her and steal her friend and run go dash up the thing for her RT boss. That's what I say. Yeah, man, as I say, I be a drama upon the internet. However, my people, we see we are. Mr. Vegas, you know, step forward and declare himself a supporter of the Jamaica Labour Party. You see what I say? Yeah, man. And that is the JLP in a Jamaica set speed. You see it? We see where him do a dub for Andrew Onis as well. You see it? And you don't know a number of artists we see do them dub plate and so forth. And as artists, you can really tell people what to support and how to support and them type of thing there. See what I mean? I say everybody have the divine right to vote for who they want to vote for or you, go, you can sit back and make other people vote for you and probably who them voting you know like and you don't spend the time and complain. You see what I mean? I say or you can do your thing and vote for who you want to vote for. Now in terms of like 
why him support the Jamaica Labour Party, Mr. Vegas would uh, like give you a couple of reasons why. You see what I say? And we are going to just, you know, make, uh, we have a little snippet of the video. We are going to just make it play and you know, we hear exactly why Mr. Vegas would uh, support like the P and the, the JLP party people. So we are going to take a quick listen and you know, can tell me if you know, agree with Mr. Vegas' points, yes or no. Me think are some solid points in me, but you don't know this is me and this is my thinking and you will probably see the thing different. So make we take a listen at what Mr. Vegas is saying. Check this out. And you will need to the best man to run the country and keep the people on town and country. But um, why am I supporting Jam the Jamaica Labour Party? Why I want the, 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 the um, a JLP candidates to win? Because I want them to I want the Jamaica Labour Party to stay in power. I want the Jamaica Labour Party um, representatives them <clears throat> to, to man the country. Yeah, I strongly believe that Andrew Wilness, um should get a, a third um, term. Um, I think he has been dealt, you know, um, a challenging hand, yeah, a difficult hand during his, um, his terms. He had to deal with COVID and he's dealing with a recession. So I think that um, he deserves in a third term to, you know, to really get a chance to help put Jamaica, you know, on a progressive path. So I believe in progress. Yeah. So I just have a thing there. I understand this is not just wildly going out saying JLP or PMP because my family did say it. You see? I totally believe in progress. I believe in working hard. I believe in, um, you know, having ambition. I believe in, I believe in um, getting opportunities to, to, um, I believe in getting opportunities to, to, to better myself and taking, and making use of the opportunities. You understand? So, here we are. Yeah? Now, firstly, let me let you understand something. No politician cannot fix Jamaica. No politician cannot fix Jamaica. The way our people are saying they want Jamaica to be. No politician cannot fix that. You see? What can make Jamaica a better place is the people adjusting or changing their mindset. That is what will benefit Jamaica society or Jamaica at large. The people their mindset. You see? And that Jamaica need for, for work on. Jamaicans need to work on. The mindset. PMP was in power. And people were complaining the same way. JLP now in power. People are still complaining. When PJ was in power for how many years, people were complaining. Is the mindset that the people want to change it? The, the Jamaica we want to say we want the perfect Jamaica we know. Remember, you know, the thing they want to want fix, you know, crime, poverty, Zane, and um, education. It's them things they want to say we want to fix, you know. The main things them you know, right? Crime, poverty, education. Them things I'm here mostly. Wanna say wanna wanna fix. Firstly, to fix crime starts with us as Jamaican people. Jamaican people support too much criminals. Health, health, yeah. So so health is in there too. Give thanks, Afro. Right? Jamaican people support too much criminals. Jamaican people support too much gangsterism, badness. Yeah? Jamaican people need to get out of that thing there where you feel like you must be on the side of wrongdoers. Is that what I fix? 
the mindset of the people. No matter what kind of crime plan Andrew Wellness put in place or Mark Golden, it now got change nothing about crime. Because the people, their mindset won't change. Who no love too much gangsterism, brethren. A boy, a rude boy, bad man, thug, a them type of people. And the same people who are complaining about crime and violence. Them are the type of people that will embrace, endorse criminals. So Andrew can't fix on no mind. And you cannot fix on a mind. On a mind. Want change, Bridget. You don't want to start. Be more. Country first. Yeah. You don't want to be more country first, Bridget. You don't love too much badness. Yeah, man.